She's making us crazy. Let's do this. So, Raya, how are you feeling? How's everything been going so far with rehearsals? Amazing. I'm feeling very excited, uh, ready to go. I'm like, come on, I just want to do it now. Like we've, we've been in rehearsals. I had my first staging rehearsal yesterday, and I'm just over the moon. I'm thrilled. Is there anything you can give us as like a hint about your staging? I would love to, but I, I, I'm going to keep it a secret. Just, just while we're so, on the night. Just so on the night you're like, oh, right, okay, okay. And so your song is crazy, obviously. What drives you crazy? Oh, well, I've got to say, sometimes men drive me crazy. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> like all of us, you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> injustice drives me crazy. Um, people taking advantage, things like that, th that drives me crazy. It's um, a good job that the question, what drives you crazy, isn't driving you crazy yet. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody's asked me that question yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, and so your song, um, it was written by Samir Elshay, yeah. is one of the people, and you know him, don't you? Yes, I went to college with him. Yeah, Did, yeah, yeah. Was that sort of how you got involved with the song, or what was the story behind that? Yeah, so um, Elshay went to a writing camp, um, got the song down, and then he was like, I need, I need an artist to do it. So he came to me and was like, here's a song, what do you think? Spoke to Hugh and people, and I was like, this is a, an absolute banger. Um, and so yeah, that's how we, we got into it. Cool, and Greta Salome, obviously Eurovision legend, Yes. has been involved. Have you met her yet? Yes, or? I met her last week. We did a Facebook Live. I, oh, I, I put cool. it online, so it'll be on her Facebook page. Very and nice. we just chatted about like loads of Eurovision stuff, old and new. People asked us loads of questions like live, and it was really cool. She was like awesome. Such a nice girl. Did she give you any tips? or? She did. She did say, um, whatever you do, just have fun. Um, because at the end of the day, like we're all here just to have fun and smile and you know. So don't get too stressed, don't worry about any negativity, things like that, just have fun. And you've been doing a vlog as well, haven't you? Yeah. How's that been going? Has I've that been, been exciting? Or? I've been trying my vlogging chops, you know. It's brand new for me and I've always wanted to vlog and I thought this is like a really cool experience and I'd love to document the process and show people what goes on backstage. So it's been like, I've been learning how to use iMovie. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? <laughs> I've been learning and it's been actually really cool. Once I've put it together, I'm like, this is really cool because it's a bit like a journal, you know, you can put it online, mm. people see you, what's going on, so, yeah. And it's memories. Exactly. Memories yeah, of the it back. Yeah. And so one of the things, I mean, on a slightly negative, I suppose, there was, the, there was an article, wasn't there, yeah. from, from, an, from a British newspaper, we'll say. Yes. Um, how have you, has that sort of like inspired you to like prove them wrong or? Well, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. I mean, it lights a fire in your belly when someone tries to tell you that you're no good and you have no experience and there's no point in you even trying. I mean, I'm not one of those people that will just go, okay, okay. I, I mean, I take that and I'm like, okay, well, we'll see. Like, <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give it my best shot. Like, it, it wasn't very fair to, to jump. Um, like on me like that but I understand that it happens you know it's kind of it's a story you know so initially I was a bit I was a bit like that's a shame you know but um but now I'm like I think the song speaks for itself and like it's come out and the support from everyone else and even before the song came out has been so uplifting people have just been great yeah. so I really like appreciated that and you're a Doncaster girl aren't you, you from? I'm from Manchester okay. So, Pennine Divide, <laughs> we'll be fine, don't worry everyone. Um, but we yeah. had Harrogate Eurovision, do you want to bring it back up to Yorkshire uh, if you win? Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, yeah. I think I was, on, I was on BBC Radio Sheffield the other day and they were like talking about my village and how like there's no one from that village that's mm. done anything like this. And I mean, that would be amazing to, for me to bring something back to Doncaster. I've lived there all my life, <laughs> all my family are there. So yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Wonderful. And have, finally, have you got any message you want to send to the Wee Wee Blogs viewers? Well, I just want to say thank you for the support so far. Tune in on the 7th. I can't wait to see some of you in Brighton and uh, vote Raya. Wonderful. Thank you very much, <laughs> Raya. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.